Hello! And welcome to my new video. If you're new here, hi, uh, I'm Lex, and this is going to be a video about resident services ideas. If you can't tell by the fact that we are just in front of resident services, we're just up a little incline here. What an island to start out with, actually. This is a beautiful tropical island called Coral Bay, and look at this, look at this plaza. It's surrounded by custom design water. I won't step on it. I don't want to ruin the illusion, you know, like that's important. But I love this. I love the little bamboo stops that are lining the walkway. But yeah, so the point of this island is like you have to walk along. What is it called? These like boardwalks to get to the buildings and stuff. And I think that's so cool. What a unique take on an island in general. So what a cool resident services, you know, it's right here on the shore. It's like its own little island. It's so cool. And I mean, it's surrounded by water. This does look shallow enough to walk on. I mean, yeah, there, there's one of the villagers doing exactly that. Couldn't be me. Couldn't be me breaking the island rules. Anyway, what a brilliant start to resident services ideas. Let's get into some more of them. Up next is this beautiful spring core island. I don't actually know what the whole island theme is. I'm just assuming based on the cherry blossom trees, but isn't this so pretty? I love the lead up to this one. The last one was very angular and straight. This one has a more natural flow into resident services. As you can see, there's this grassy path. I love this path too, by the way. If you want custom designs, you're gonna have to check with the island creators, which are linked in the description. I know a lot of people always ask me for them. I unfortunately do not have all of the custom designs for these islands, but yeah, the creators are linked in the description so you can check it out. Also, the dream addresses are there if the creators have shared them with me. This is just so pretty. I love all of this terraforming around. I feel like I'm just walking circles, but I'm like marveling here. I like when there is some kind of terraforming framing at resident services. That's how I normally do it. I feel like we often see it behind resident services. So it's cool also to see this like open area back here. It just leads back to the campsite. If this sign is to be believed, this is just really beautiful. It's a very lovely take on a natural resident services. Just so calming and pretty, 12 out of 10. With this island, we have officially seen three of the four seasons in game because this one is autumn, obviously. I think this is so beautiful. Again, I love terraforming around resident services. So of course, of course I visited here. There's so much terraforming going on. And what I especially loved is this feature to the left. It's like a little market area, like a little farmer's market just beside resident services. And that is so cute. I know that I and plenty of other island creators have pretty frequently put like nooks cranny and houses right beside resident services just for ease of access. Like it's super convenient if you're, you know, hanging around in your plaza, you can boom, go shop immediately. And I think this is a cute take on that. It's not like the practically convenient thing, but it still makes sense. It adds up having a little market right beside the plaza. And it's so well decorated too. I love the different little stalls here absolutely adorable. I think this is so precious. And then on the right, we've got this kind of stuff, very cozy, very autumnal. I just love this pathway and everything. There's so much going on. Um, yeah, the terraforming looks great. And I just think this is such a pretty autumn island. You can also take a seat right here at the plaza. How convenient. I think another popular way to decorate around resident services is to frame it somehow. And sometimes that is done with terraforming, but I especially love this one, how it's done with the castle walls and medieval building sides. This is so cool. Also, I just realized that this resident services is right on the beach. Look at the mini map. I don't think I've ever seen a resident services place this way before. That's wild. For those of you who are asking for ideas, if your resident services is super close to the airport, this works too. You've just got barely any room to work in front of it. This is like five tiles of space. And Arden has done just brilliant work here. I think this is gorgeous. I also love the placement of the little suit of armor right here. They're guarding, they're guarding the plaza. This is beautiful. Again, we've got some terraforming framing at the back and it's beautiful, the waterfall especially. This is just very, it's palatial, it's elegant, it's grand. And you know, if that's the vibe you're going for on your island, I think that's perfect for the plaza area. My only wish is that you could like alter where Luna appears with the bed that you used to get here because I am still using my camping cot. This is, I'm visiting from Nightshade. Also, did you notice my dress? I've started getting custom designs for Nightshade. This is Mushroom Witch. How cute is it? 
<laughs> How cute is it? Anyway, Arden, this is as usual, literally perfect. Something about this island reminds me of the beginning of Animal Crossing. I think it's the fact that this custom design pathing matches the resident services brick. Do you see that? Do you see how they're like matching? It's so cute. It's so cute. I love this plaza. I think it's so cool. I think it's so practical. We've got this little water, I mean, not waterfall, this little fountain right in front. And if you go to the right, just up this incline is the resident representative's house. I always think that's cute to have it right near resident services. Cause like you're the resident representative, you know, like you're basically, you're basically Tom Nook and Isabel's coworker. They just didn't give you a desk. So you've got to, you have to move next to them. Anyway, I just think it's cute that you live next to your workplace, you know, and we've got this beautiful sunken waterfall just to the right of the house. There's so much terraforming going on right here at the plaza. It's just, it's great. I also love that on the left side, also very convenient, like I was talking about earlier, how people put their shops near resident services. Here we've got Nook's Cranny. There are even scooters for Timmy and Tommy, although I do think they need the little baby trikes. I'm not gonna lie. Unless the, unless the scooters are also for sale based on this for sale sign, 12,000 bells for scooter, you know, whatever. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pretend that one of them is for sale, one of them to me and Tommy share to get there actually. And this is cool, a transportation stop. You get to sit, I mean, this is a storefront. What am I talking about? You get to sit here, wait for the bus perhaps. And then Able Sisters. This is just a really convenient and practical setup, I think. I love the custom designs in use here. Terraforming again. This is like a really balanced mix of natural resident services and like a city resident services. And this one is surprisingly close to the beach too. I really appreciate that this is a foresty island and the flag is simply a cedar tree. That's honestly iconic. It's so simple, but elegant. I don't know, that really got me immediately. This is so beautiful though. Look at the custom design pathing along the side here. I mean, it's it's custom, it's rocks like overlaid on the dirt pathing, but you know what I mean, you know what I meant. Then we've got this another like natural flowy pathway away from resident services. This is a far resident services. So this one has plenty of room in front for decor and stuff. And then here we are at the beach, quite a big distance here. So maybe not the best distance, but for those of you who do have super close resident services to your airports, but this is so pretty to me. Look at this too, this custom design pathing. That's beautiful. What the heck? Where do you guys find? these kinds of custom designs. I think this is gorgeous. I, again, forest islands, they'll always have a special place in my heart. Foresty stuff is my favorite. It's my favorite island theme to see. I love the winding pathways and I don't know, I feel like New Horizons just really lends itself to a foresty theme. All of the items that they've provided, the trees are so lush and beautiful. It's just great. I also love that we have a water feature right to the left of resident services. Just plenty of terraforming and everything going around. Exactly, exactly what I'd expect if you said you had a foresty theme. This is just a perfect representation of that and so pretty. We're heading back to spring with this beautiful island and I am obsessed with these custom designs. The like framing bricks with the cherry blossoms. What the heck? How beautiful is that? And you come right down here and there's some symmetry going on. I am also a sucker for symmetry. I think this is so cute. Imagine the villagers just sitting here enjoying their days. I mean, I literally did the thing as if I could whistle and get myself to look at the camera without my phone out. That's, that's cringe. This is precious too. We've got houses right down the block here. Everything is central and cohesive. Look at this island flag too. It's so bright and happy. Hold on, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Remember when I used to always accidentally say map instead of flag? We have grown so much since 2020, my friends. This is so cool though. I love, again, we've got like a very nice mix, I think, of a natural resident services and a very like city uh, laid out natural. I mean, what? I think I need a nap. We've got a mix of natural and planned out like a city vibes. And I think that's perfect. I think that fits this island vibe so well. I love the bike right here. It's like, we're just stopping by, you know, we're just stopping by at the plaza. Lots of water terraforming just near resident services. And I love this like little pathway winding through. It's like you have a little butterfly garden here. 
Anyway, super cute. I I love you guys' islands. I'm not gonna lie, this island immediately confused me. I was like, what the heck are these squares? What is this item? It's fencing, it's fencing, it's... I'm definitely no longer an Animal Crossing pro, but how cool is this? Another autumn island to finish out our resident services exploration. This is so cool. Again, we've got like shops right here on the plaza. Let's go see what's up here. What is up here? I love this little market area. Look at this, the little, it's canned coffee sitting on this box here. You can come up here and sit. It's just like a little deck behind Nook's Cranny. This is definitely where Timmy and Tommy go for their breaks. They definitely do get breaks. Contrary to popular belief, it's just when you're not looking. Um, because Tom Nook would never have unethical practices on his island. This is so cute too. We've got Able Sisters over here. I love that it's like roadways here leading away from resident services. So we've got little cars out. This, look at the little ironing board. Are you kidding? I didn't realize you could customize those. Look at the little birds. Oh my goodness. This has a little deck too. This is where Mabel and Sable come and hang out. I love that the storage shed is also rusting. That's very, very realistic since it's outdoors. Outdoors metal shed. Yeah, that adds up. I think this is so pretty. We've got so much going on here. The road is so cool and I don't know. It's easy to traverse. I also, I had to revisit this really quick because I love the details here. The items placed out. They all, I don't know. They all work so well color wise. Like just the colors here are so cohesive. So well done. What a beautiful autumn island and look we do have a tricycle here timmy or tommy one fell off their trike on the way to work we don't know who we don't know who anyway thank you so much to all of my channel members if you would like to become a member of lex play you can check out the link in the description or click the join button if that shows up for you thank you all so much for watching today and i hope that you're feeling inspired you're gonna go build the best plaza i'm gonna be working on mine for nightshade soon um Keep, keep your eyes open. Bye.